The lace item in Moto 13.1 is an exciting new feature that will allow you to easily create laces and give you a high level of control to tune those laces. The first thing we have to do is click on add item and we'll type in lace and add the lace item. Once loaded, the first option is to provide a normal alignment mesh. And for this we're going to use the tongue. So we'll click here and we'll choose tongue from the dropdown. The next thing that we're going to do is mark the eyelets. In item mode, I'll select the eyelet and then I'll go into edge selection and I can select the edges here. I've already made a selection set so I'm going to go to my selection sets and I'm going to load that selection set. And it selected these edges and it doesn't actually need to be a perfect circle. Now I'll go to the lace item and say mark eyelets. Since all of the eyelets are instances, I can select them all pretty easily by clicking shift and clicking here. And you'll see that our laces are generated. We have some options for controlling the arch amount and tangent amount. And we can kind of play with those here. But we can always tweak them after the fact if need be. Now we can choose to build the lace geometry. So when I click on that, and here we can ask Moto to generate a new mesh for the laces, or we can use a polygon strip, a profile preset, or use an existing mesh that we already have. We'll use a new curve mesh and we'll click OK. And you can see that the laces are created and then the curved mesh is generated. In item mode, I'm going to go and select that curve mesh and move it over. And I'll select the lace item. The next thing I need to do is order the laces so that they have the right pattern of going back and forth. I can click on order eyelets and now I can click on these in the viewport helpers to go through and select the order at which the laces should go through those eyelets. And once you're happy you can adjust it if necessary with tangent length or arching amount. While the tool is active, we can go in and change the tangents and kind of change where the laces go in and go out. So if I click on flip tangents, I can click on each one of these things to kind of flip them around. This isn't necessarily how I want it, so I'll click these just to kind of flip them back. In the curve sweep menu, we have all sorts of parameters that you can play with on your own, but we'll tweak one of them here, which is the size. The size is proportional to the curve mesh we have in the viewport and you can increase or decrease the size of the laces here. Also you can choose your own profile and have that set up for your lace shape. Another option I'd like to show is this one. We have a edit deform points option and if we click on that we're going to get a menu on the left and that's going to allow us to deform the curve. Shift click on the area that we want. We'll get some handles to adjust our curve. And these handles define the area that you want to deform the laces with. So in this case we can make it a little smaller and apply a twist as it's going through the eyelet. If we want to apply the same thing we can also shift click at different spaces on our other eyelets. And then I can go in and adjust ones individually too if I wish. Once you're happy with everything that you've set up, you can go and choose Freeze Edit Lace Curve. And this will allow us to get our control points for our curve and give us a little bit more control to refine our laces using our Bezier controls. So I can go in and tweak different parts of these laces just to kind of refine exactly what I need. Here I'll pull this one down. And we'll pull these down as well. And if you want to, you can add more control points to get a little bit more control over this. We'll take a look in the top view here and we'll shift extend our beziers and drag this in so that it fits in the front of the shoe. And back in our perspective view, we'll make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm happy with how it's looking at the moment. 
So there we go. In Moto 13.1, you can quickly and easily create laces and refine them to get just the look that you need.